Hi guys. So uh, I wanted to describe a little bit about arrays and in particular I know you're in the middle of taking CSCI 155 right now so you may not have gotten to arrays yet in that class but I know you've dealt with strings and so I wanted to build on that understanding of how strings work so you can see how you could use arrays in, in your projects. So um, Let's see how let's see how that might work. So let me close this guy. This is a program that I'm sure you guys have uh, have no trouble understanding. It basically just prints a string to the console. If I run it, let's go ahead and run it here. Um, I'll just compile it. It's called ArrayDemo.c, and we'll run it, and it prints "Hello World" to the screen. Very exciting. <coughs> but I want to point out that you don't have to do it that way. You could also treat hello world as a as an array. So let's do a car uh, message array and give it hello world. So it's got the same string that it had before, but now instead of printing a literal string, I'm going to print message, mm -hmm. and it's going to because it's a array of characters it's going to simply print that guy out. So let's uh, go back to the terminal, recompile it, rerun it, and it still works. Okay, so yay. So you can see that literally this string is an array of characters. Just to highlight that point, let me go ahead and pull in the string library here. And let's uh, get an integer index. I'll use that as an index. And then what I'm going to say is for the index starting at 0, and as long as it's less than the length of the message, okay, uh, we're going to increment it. And then instead of printing out the whole string, I'm just going to print out one character at a time. So I'm going to say printf. Now I'll say percent %c instead of percent %s and I'll print out message sub i. So that's going to go through a loop now, and i is going to take on values from 0 to the uh, length of the message, and it's going to print out one character at a time. So let's see what that looks like. Uh, go back to the terminal here, and let's compile it. And it does exactly the same thing. So you can see here I'm actually printing out one character at a time in a loop that iterates and goes through every element of that string. Okay, so now there's another way I could spell this. I could say uh, instead of saying give me a string, I could say give me an array and then put in each character as an individual character. Mm-hmm. And then let's space. This is a little bit more tedious. You see how this is going to go. Oh, and because I'm doing it this way, this time I need to put in an explicit null character here. Um, but that, I claim, is going to work the same way. Now I'm creating an array, but I'm creating an array one character at a time. And I'm explicitly putting in the null character at the end. That way the string length function works because the way string length works is it goes through until it finds a null character and it counts until it's done. So let's compile that one and make sure that guy works. Okay. Yes, indeed. Boom. Now wait a minute. Did something odd there. It printed... Oh. Uh, I know what it... No? Huh. Let's see. Hang on. Uh, I left out the new line. That should still work. Yeah, there you go. So uh, I just left out the new line character, so it was ending up funky. All right, anyway, here's the point. You guys know all about character arrays and strings. What I want to do now is to say, to point out, even though you might not have done it yet, is you could also make this guy an integer array, and you could have it printing out integers instead. Um, so let's do that. So I'm going to say not character, but 
int. And then not array, not message, but uh, let's call it x. And not characters, but uh, how about 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, 9, 2, 7. And then uh, there we go, something like that. How many your characters are there? There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I don't have a string length function for integer arrays, so I'm just going to define n to be eight. There's other ways to do that, but let's just let's just go with that. And instead of saying string length of message, I'll just say up to n. Okay, and then instead of percent %c, I'll say percent %i, new line. So it's going to print one uh, integer on a line. Oops, doesn't like that. Oh, I changed the name, but I didn't change the name of what I was printing. Okay, does that look better? Yep, okay. Likes that better, and it prints out three one four one five nine two seven. Perfect. Okay, so um, so let's go here. I okay. So what's the point of this whole business? What I'd like to do is to point out that this this could, for example, represent data that you're reading in from you know a temperature sensor or something. And one of the things we want to be able to do is to um, to average a bunch of measurements, let's say three measurements of that data, and compute an average. So the idea would be, uh, assuming that this is data we're getting, let's define average size three. So we're going to average over three, and I'm going to make another integer array called the buffer, and it's going to be average size long. Okay, and the idea is, as we uh, measure new numbers, I'm going to think of this loop as going through and measuring things. What we're really doing is just going through this array of fixed numbers ahead of time. But I want to print out the average of the three numbers. So uh, here's the idea. I'm going to start the buffer with zeros. Okay, and then what I want to do is. Uh, I'll print out the measurement, but then I'm also going to print out what's in the buffer, and I'm going to print out the average of what's in the buffer. So uh, let's do this. Uh, and for a little bit, things are going to be goofy because the buffer is going to have zeros in it, but I'm just going to ignore that for now just to keep it simple. Okay? So I'm going to make another integer called j, and I'm going to say for j equals 0. j is less than av size, right? j plus plus. Yep. And what I'll do, let's say uh, I'll make another sum int sum. Say sum equals 0. Okay, so we're going to start sum out at 0. And then we're going to say sum plus equals uh, buff sub j. So we're adding up the numbers in the buffer, okay? And then we're going to print out the average. So let's uh, let's do that. Print f, and I, the average is going to be a floating point number because uh, there's av size elements, but the sum isn't necessarily an integer multiple of av size. Or, so the average will be a floating point. So we'll say print average equals percent f. Just do it that way for now. And then what we're going to print there is going to be float of sum divided by av size. Okay. But wait a minute. Buff is never getting anything in it. So what I'm going to do is to put whatever's in the x array into the buffer. So I could just say uh, buff sub i equals x sub i. But there's a problem with that. 
x has indices indices that go 0 to what 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 0 to 7 but buff only has three spots so I I as soon as you get to the fourth one you're going to overflow that array so what you do is you don't use i as an index to buff you do i percent av size so you use the remainder of dividing i by av size and that means that remainder is always going to be 0 1 or 2 right as soon as you get to 3 you've got a remainder of 0 and and so on so buff is always going to be the last three things you measured and so when you average you're always averaging over the last three things that were measured and so you'll get an average like that so let's do one other thing here I'll say uh, put a new line on that guy and let's try this I hope it works boom so it's measuring things it gets the first number which is a three and the average is one well that makes sense because really it's three zero zero right then the next number comes in it's a one you get an average of 1.33 that's four divided by three four thirds that makes sense the next number that comes in is four so notice you've got four plus one plus three that's eight divided by three two and two thirds that actually works now when the one comes in it's actually going to bump out the three it's going to overwrite the three and that's going to bring the average back down so so you can see it's actually working it might make sense to go ahead and um, print out the whole buffer each time so you can see how that works so in here I'm going to say print f uh, percent i comma uh, let's do this buff percent i equals percent i and then uh, put a little space there comma and then we'll put in J and we'll put in buff sub J if that makes sense so that's going to print out the buffer along with it so you can see a little bit better how that's going to work and then uh, yeah let's try that so I'll compile it again we'll run it and you can see exactly as I said it's three zero zero average of one then it's three one zero average of one third three one four average two point six seven and notice that next one that comes in it blows away that three and so what you have here is always the last three things that you measured and that's pretty much the way it works so I hope that made sense uh, we'll talk to you guys soon